Uh, hello guys. Um, today we're gonna talk about the game All Star Baseball 2002 for the PS2. Now the All Star Baseball game did very well. I managed to find this one and I got it. I there was a mold that they made. I think it was the All Star Baseball franchise where you could do an exhibition game in a cornfield. You can and you can pull all the MLB players at random. You can do a draft with another player for a random team of no every of people. And I am this one might be too early, but despite that I still wanted to check this out because it was a great baseball franchise by Acclaim. And Acclaim didn't have good luck with sports games except for this one. And unfortunately this one did not survive that 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 deal that two K made that with third party baseball games that included EA's MVP baseball series and this one as well. So we're going to take a look at it. Let's look at options first. I do like the presentation on this game a lot. MLB Play Exhibition All-Star Game New Season New Series. No franchise mode. Let's quick play. Nothing there. So we'll do MLB Play. We'll do Exhibition. Okay, I want to control. That that doesn't help me. I'm just exploring here, um, so, yeah, let's, I guess we're just stuck with the exhibition, um, of course, I'm gonna pick, the Tigers, 2002, they would be terrible, the worst team ever, almost, no joke. All the expos. Let's take Legends, Angels, you got a Legends team. Orioles. Oh, Tiger 78, 82 power. They were a fast team. They had good rotation bullpen. Alright. Let's find I'm not seeing like difficulty settings, any changes or anything like that. So this might be a long video. So if that's the case, then man, there. I guess low high 70s is bottom of the barrel as you can get, really. I guess. And the stats are don't, don't vary that much. I'm done dicking around. Might as well play against the Mariners. Yeah, I couldn't find an inning chain count changer, so this is gonna be a long this might be a long video. So Oh boy. Look at this. I did hear that the graphics weren't necessarily the best, but I heard High Heat Baseball had a lot of different, not terrible. I've seen worse. Okay. Let's pause for a second. Wow.
Okay, you can sign all that. All right, we should check the rosters. We should have done that first. Well, forgot to. Oh well. Um. Oh. We'll check them after the game. All right, so I can control this with my thing, and I have the pitch on the side here. So I'm playing at Comerica. Let's do a four seamer. The key is to get ahead in the count and control your fastball. Everything else. And control location. You can take something off the All right, X is confirmed. Enough, or if you get ahead, you can use that curveball. All right, so you got to step in between where you can decide to either throw to the side of the bases to check. Let's do it. Is triangle home? Is it reverse? Is X second? Man, that's going to take a bit to get used to. Yeah, this is going to be a long ass game. Why did I pick to choose against the Mariners? Well, Oh god, and this is a terrible team too. He fouls more what? Oh man. Nabbed by the first baseman. Edgar hits well with his 16 home runs and batted 300 on the road last year. Let's change it up. So you can't adjust it. Once you select it too, so you don't have to. Low and off the plate. Makes it one and zero. To the high one. Fastball, strike one. The count is even at a ball and a strike. Let's do a curve. We haven't done a curve yet. yet. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Higginson. This is a well put together game. I'm just, I'm just kind of, the only thing I have a huge issue with is the fact you can't adjust the inning count. I have a huge issue with that because nine innings can be a long time for video games. And I know this is going for a simulation style, but for God's sakes, if you're doing quick play, I understand not having it for season play or something, but if you're... Alright, so you pick where the pitch comes in, but if it's a breaking pitch, it's going to end at a different location, which is... The usual for most pitches in baseball games, but, be, but this one portrays it a little bit differently, so you can kind of predict the lo It kind of teaches you how to how to control that location. Oh fuck! How the fuck did I miss that up? I do this. The game does come with the manual. I forgot to show that, so I can check it out. All right, I got two outs. Change in inside. There we go. I only gave up one run against the Mariners. Mariners were very good in early 2000s, if I remember correctly. So. Oh God, this is good. 
Oh god, this is gonna be... This is gonna take some getting used to. So where... How does... The fuck does this work? I guess I'm just gonna have to go to it. I'm gonna have to react very quickly. This is not gonna be easy. I didn't even know it was like a difficulty meter too. A difficulty meter too. So you're kind of stuck with what you get. They're very; those are very old school things. But for a PS2 game, I expect those options to be available. Oh, got it. But that quite. Okay, it's doable. Did the game freeze? All right. It froze for a second. I did get the. Nice. Yeah. I'm getting the hang of it pretty decently. I will say, I got this in some other sports games, that Salvation Army. I did have a, a slight trouble running the disc, but then I just wiped it down, and it works. And the thing is, the Madden 04 game I own, where I did the franchise more review, that is so scratched up, but it works like a charm, so a little ding should be fine. Oop. Definitely want to practice with this game. Got some of them first. Oh, fuck. That was slow. That was too slow. But yeah, if you're going to pick an all star baseball game, I. Based on my knowledge, without actually playing them, I say go with the 2005 one. And the announcing's just off in this right now. Wow. Wilson takes the pitch deep to center field. I press square. Wilson. Why do they all go home? <laughs> Carlos Guillen. I don't use on the Mariners. I thought. Yeah, graphically, I've seen a whole lot worse, but I'm not going to pretend to say it's a joke or not. It's definitely just kind of simulation visuals. I like the controls. The controls are the controls are fluid. There's nothing wrong with them, even to a certain degree, maybe even intuitive. But. Mike would like this. If I, I, I will say this. I will do a series on this, at least do with the PS2 versions. The N64 versions, which Acclaim loved doing some exclusives for the N64 with their sports games. I think I could. This is the first one they did for the PS2, so this is the first version for that game. I'm not having a terrible time getting the hang of this game. I'm doing pretty decently against them, all things considering. Considering I'm the 2002 Detroit Tigers, and they're the early 2000s Mariners. But I need to... I need to work on my reaction. I'm so used to just automatically hitting, because when I played baseball growing up, I played with games that were very offensive, so I'm used to just... just letting it rip and scoring a lot of runs, so I need to 
adjust my mindset with a lot of these games. I should have. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. I wonder if I can move it with the D-pad. I wonder if that will make a difference. I can. So let's try it with that. Maybe I can get more precision on the D-pad. God, this announcing's just so fucking behind. It's that bad guys they chose for it. It's just the tech isn't keeping up. I don't know if that's a copy I have or is it, if it's just the games themselves. There's the announcing. I will say, if you're gonna get an all-star baseball game, Oh, fuck. I think you have to aim with your stick. I don't know. Maybe you have to use the D-pad. You might have to use the D-pad for throwing. I don't know. I gotta look at the instructions. And it doesn't feel like 20 minutes to me. I mean, actually, it shouldn't be 20 minutes because I'll be cutting some stuff down from the excess. So, ah. Fastball. Really a ball? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, Ump. That was a strike. On the line, sure, but... There we go. Well, that makes a count. One Rip boom. Slider. Strike one. Makes it even at a ball and a strike. Curve. Strike two. Get in the air to right. And the side is retired. Oh, nice. Let's see. Oh my god. I understand it's a sim and hitting needs to be a tad difficult, but... Because sitting usually isn't... 
because here's the thing, the best hitters in the major leagues only get a hit one out of three at bats, so you're going to get out, out more than get a hit, so I get that, but that Almost had it. No balls, one strike. Oh, I pushed the wrong way. After two straight strikes, Cruz is now down 0 2. That fastball thrown right by him for strike three. The problem is that I have, it's a multi-step process, they have to execute pretty quickly. Oh, come on, I missed that. I was right on there. Maybe I should use this, the stick. Damn it. The curveball, strike one, oh and one. Fastball, strike two, and that makes a count. No balls and two strikes. He goes down chasing the fastball. After three, here in Detroit, the Mariners lead it one to nothing. Hit in the air to center. One oh. away. A lot of pop ups. He doubled in his last at bat. Okay, the announcing's starting to catch up a tad, so maybe it was just earlier on the game was trying to... The fastball, strike one. So they only have one guy commentating. One strike. I kind of like it sometimes, because sometimes I feel like commentating becomes a bit too... overindulgent. Overindulgent. I mean, you're an announcer and all, but it's all about the game. I don't... I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But sometimes I feel like announcers nowadays get a little too focused on them being the stars and not the game itself. Oh my god, did they drop it? God damn it. Just look. Oh my god. The count is 1 and 0. Fly ball to center. Two down. I, uh, I think a fielding assist might be on. I don't know. That could be the default. On the air is 1 for 2. Wow, they're just hitting pop-ups. Yeah, all I need is one run and I'm in the game. Oh my god. I just need to... Okay, so he's probably gonna... There we go. Oh my god. there to keep that ball from getting through. Higginson is one for one. Bobby Higginson. There we go. Nice. Yeah, stick is better. Just takes getting used to. Ah. I wonder if your batting attributes have to do with this um this uh cruiser cruiser hitting. Oh my god. Damn it. 
after four, Seattle leads it one to nothing. Oh, and one. The slider. Oh, come on, that's not a ball. Oh my god, that pisses me off. And it's so obviously in the box, but they still call it the ball. There we go. We'll slide it. One ball and one strike. The change up. Strike two. One ball and two strikes. Strike three on a tough. You know, for an early PS2 game, this actually looks pretty decent, at least player model wise. I don't know about the field, though. The field looks. I don't know. I kind of. I'm curious on how the series improves, because there's definitely potential in this. It's just my thing is the lack of game-changing options. You're kind of forced to play a whole game. Unless I'm missing something, which I doubt, because I looked at all the game options. Man, if I was just a tad more used to the game earlier on, it could still be a scoreless game. Going outside. Oh my god. Makes it one and two. Weaver delivers. Strike three on a top curveball. Palmer is 0 for 1. Alright, come on. Oh my god. Strike 1. 0 and 1. Leading off the bottom of the fifth inning, the third baseman. Oh my god. Strike 2. No balls and 2 strikes. Oh my god. Chasing the fastball. Center fielder. He grounded out to the shortstop his last time up. One in by Castellon. Ah, I fucked up. Paints the black on the inside corner of strike. Oh and one. Come on, give me something. A drag bunt. Oh, bunt. I didn't mean to bunt. He steps on the bag for the second out. Oh, wow. Well. At least I know. Oh, it's bunt. He is all for one. Fastball. Strike one. Makes it. No balls. One. That must be power. We'll go for power. Pick. Found it off. Ah. No balls I just need to get on pace. No uh. way you're going to hit that pitch. Excellent fastball for strike three. We go to the sixth. Here in Detroit, the Mariners lead it one to nothing. Martin is one for two. The fastball, strike one. Makes it, no balls, one strike. Martin hits a deep drive to left. The ball caroms off the wall. Slapped into left for a single. Boone is 0 for 2. Peter, strike one. Makes it, no balls, one strike. Oh, 
just down and a ball. The count is even at a ball and a strike. That pitch is sent fly. Fastball, strike one. The count is no balls, one strike. A high fly ball to center. The runner at third is tagging up on the fly ball. And Carnarcion fields it. Damn it, they got second run. That will score one. Yeah. Fastball. He appears to have lost a little pop. -up. The count is no balls, one strike. Okay. Todd Jones. All right, simple enough. They have a right hander up and throwing in the bullpen. We could see a switch very soon. Just want some of the guy ready. Peter, strike two. Change up, got him swinging strike three. Guillaume is 0 for 2. One down here in the top of the six. Ah. Rip to center. Safe. Okay, that seems to be working now. The home, the second base triangle button. It foul down the right field line. No balls, one strike. The changeup, strike two. Nice. No balls and two strikes. Hit on the ground. Damn it. In there safely. Damn it. I will. Damn it, I fucked up. God damn it. Why did I just throw it home? I wasn't thinking. Foul down the third baseline. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. That makes a count. Oh, and one. A high fly ball to left. Bell tagging up at third. What a great shoestring grab. Incredible play, and the batter is locked. Oh my god, safe. We'll score one. Oh my god, I'm getting in trouble. In all honesty, I was surprised they haven't scored more runs on me. Ball second base, fielded by the second baseman, and the side is retired. They strand two here in the sixth. Leading off the bottom of the sixth inning. Easily the is over one. Damien Easley. Oh my god. Like one. Oh. And that makes a count. No balls, one strike. Rounded to short. There we go. Lunges to his left. Driven to center for a base hit. Struck out in his last at bat. Peter 
Uh, I should let it go. The change up, like one, and that makes a count. No balls, one strike. Round ball. They get the force at second. Damn it. Good hustle there to get the double play. We played six. Seattle leads it four to nothing. Fastball, strike one. Makes it, no balls, one strike. The ball is hit hard to the pitcher. One away. There you go. Martin is two for three. One down. Here in the top of the seventh. Fastball. Strike one. No balls, one strike. Here's the pitch. Fly ball to center. Oh, my God. Ribbon to center for a base hit. Boom is one of three. Fastball. Strike one. Makes it, no balls, one strike. Ground ball towards first. Oh my god. Third baseman. He singled in his last at bat. David Bell. Fastball. Strike one. Makes it, no balls, one strike. The curveball, strike two. No balls and two strikes. This is low. The count is one and two. Swings and misses the changeup. First strike three. Number six, Dan Wilson. Fastball. Strike one. Well, his ERA is four, so he hasn't done anything that he usually doesn't do. Oh my god. Why is he fucking dropping it? Do I have to be that precise? And one run is across. Gia is one of three. Two away. Here in the top of the seventh. That pitch hit very deep and forget all about it. 388 feet. Alright. Let's let him finish the inning with dignity. Really?
There we go. Let's try power. Trying to follow the pitch is just irritating like crazy. Oh my god. Alright. He's the shining star of the Tigers organization back in the day. Oh my god. Decent team. I don't know if I would be doing any better if I had a better team. Rounder to the left side. Gia lunges to his right. Hit safely in the left field. The third baseman struck out his last time up. Peter, strike one. Makes it 0 and 1. Gets it on the ground. All right. Uh, I think. The side is retired. What I need to do is, when I see the ball, I need to go for slightly lower. Because I know even with the fastball pitches, they drop a tad in the zone where you aim. So that's probably where I have to aim for for hitting. Uh, he's. I forgot to change it. Oh well. Strike one. No balls, one strike. I'm gonna ride with them. Fuck it. Down and away. You know what? No. I'm gonna one one. use my bullpen. Four seam splitter slider. So we get to see a different pitch. Wow. Yeah. Into second. Great backhanded grab there to keep that ball from getting through. The designated hitter, number 11, Edgar Martinez. The splitter. I think because X is sprint, and by the time I let go of X, they're already throwing home.
After two straight strikes, Martin is now down 0-2. Strike three on a great split. They strand one here in the eighth. All right. And Carnacion is 0 for 2. Yeah. Like one. Makes it no balls, one strike. Peter oh my God. Two. Makes it no balls and two strikes. Oh wow, I can change that. I didn't know that. Rounded to short. He lays out for the ball. One down. Oh my god, that was had it. One away. Here in the bottom of the eighth. Peter, strike one. No balls, one strike. Very oh my God! Cut. And that makes a count. Oh and two. Got oh fuck! Really curveball. Second baseman, number nine, Damian Easley. Hit on the ground. Diving attempt. There you go. Single center field. Shortstop, number eight, Amy Cruz. Oh, my God. Oh. Let's crying. There you go. Caught by the second base. We go to the ninth. Oh my god, nine innings. This is brutal. What the heck? Uh, I got lucky. I almost fucked up there. That was sucked. Wilson is three for four. Dan Wilson. Splitter, strike one. Oh and one. Fastball, strike two. After two straight strikes, Wilson is quickly behind, zero oh and two. The slider. Oh, come on. The slider. One ball and two strikes. Wilson hits a deep drive to right. The fastball, strike one, makes it 0 and 1. Hits it on the ground. Ah, oh, fuck. Right fielder, on the air, struck out last time up. To left field. Bell tagging up at third. Safe. And runs. Uh, score one. Center fielder. Cameron struck out his last at bat. Yeah, this is about accurate for the, the talent at that time period the for a game like this. Strike one. Oh my god. Fix it. No balls, one strike. Yeah. 
after two straight strikes. Cameron is now down 0-2. That pitch popped up. He grounded out to the second baseman in his last at bat. The fastball. Strike one. No balls, one strike. He really did them a favor there by swinging at the first pitch and popping it up. A high fly ball to center. And the sign is retired. All right. Well, let's see if I can get nine runs. That would be very unlikely. <laughs> oh. oh my god, this is... God, it's like they don't get... I might have challenged, but man, I just... I didn't even get it. I could have had that, but for some reason when I pressed it, it didn't go. Quickly behind, 0 and 2. Great fastball to pick up the strikeout. Molesky has a beautiful swing. He bats from both sides of the plate, but had much more success against right. Oh, wow. That's a hit. Come on. There we go. I certainly got on base, but... Come on, you're so close to finishing it. Don't freeze out. Second up. baseman in his last at bat. Drives a single to center. Higginson is two for three. Bobby Higginson. And that makes a count. 0 oh and 1. Liner to center. He steps on the bag for the second. Oh, come on, really? Whatever. That'll do it here today. On behalf of a clean sports all-star baseball 2002. Yeah, I didn't start cracking up to the last four innings. Yeah, that was a little rough to say the least. Um, well, it was all-star baseball 2002 for the PS2. It has potential. It, do, it does do get better. I love the presentation here. The in-game stuff, I think, is reasonably well. I think it's not the mo it's not the driest baseball game I've ever played, for sure. It does have a little bit of flavor. I think the biggest issue I have with the game is the lack of customization with in-games. But first, before we get to anything, let's take a look at those rosters that I player draft. What's player draft. I think that's the right one. Guess that's one way to do it. Whoever I get to first, I guess. Team hitting, let's look at them. Alright, Cruz 302, not bad. Billy McGillan, 301. I think it's in 300. They got some decent hitters on this team, actually. Which, man, they're, they're actually were decent. Average wise. And Carcion, Roger, Wendell, Clark, Shane Halter. Yeah, Shane Halter was their worst. And pitching. Jones, 352, 397. Jeff Weaver, yeah, these guys, fine, I mean, Jones had those saves, he had a decent amount of saves, but I don't know who this, these guys are probably the starters, yeah, yeah, that makes sense, they don't have very good, Chris Holt, oh my god, Chris Holt was awful, <laughs> oh my god, alright, so let's find those Mariners, team hitting, oh jeez, Garcia, 21 games. Oh, you could scroll down. Jeez, that would have been... I fucked up there. Well. So, yeah. Um, anyone stand out here? Uh, Stan, 
John L. Edgar, Paul. They have to go back to the Tigers. He's Jeff. Jesus, he's key. He had, he had saves, but he had quite a few losses too. Joe Jose, Freddy Garcia, Paul Abbott, Arthur Rose. People. Yeah, a lot of different pitchers. Alright, so I think. I'm gonna go back to the Tigers. Let's go back to team hitting. Yeah, actually, the hit most of the hitting were from non-regular. Okay, some of the guys who played a lot they hit pretty well. Um, Shane was Damian, uh, Dean. Yeah, these not so good here. Holt, uh, yeah. Oh my god, 6 11, 8 16, 2 and 7. Oh my god, that's awful. Our oh, thick. That sounds familiar. Alright, so we're good here. Uh, let's take a look at options one more time. Oh my god, there's like no game options. That's ridiculous. I'm sorry, but that's ridiculous. But, um, but yeah, like I was saying, this was. All-Star Baseball 2002 for the PS2. Um, would I recommend it? Eh. It's enjoyable. I wouldn't say it's a bad game. It just doesn't give you a lot to work with within the game. You're just kind of stuck with a game that wants to be a simulation, but could be more than just a standard simulation. Um, it has a nice touch. Its presentation's nice. The... I like the the controls are decent for the most part. I feel like there was a hiccup one or two in there, but the presentation was okay. The main menu presentation is awesome. I wish they kind of maintained that for the in game, but it was okay. I, that's the thing about this game. It's 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 solid, but I felt like I feel like there's better. I feel like it's going to be doing better. So I'm kind of I'm kind of seeing ways that they can make it better. And I kind of look forward to exploring that in the future. So, when we do All-Star Baseball Series review, we'll do this. We'll take a look at this game again, of course. Maybe by that point I'll figure out if the innings could be shortened or not. I hope they can. If they can, then it's going to be some long episodes. But, um, but yeah, we're going to end it there, and I kind of look forward to seeing some of the other games that the series has to offer besides this one. Because this one was decent, but I feel like they made better ones and all but uh yeah guys uh thanks but yeah all-star baseball front back back uh and yes the manual wasn't here i didn't look in the manual which might have been a mistake but oh well there's always next time but yeah guys uh thanks for watching uh please subscribe and like the videos and have a good day